I think that what we're going through in the United States right now is an acceleration of problems that were there before Trump, but have been aggravated mightily um, and strategically uh, by our American president right now. And I think it's important to recognize that this is an issue uh, not just for journalism, it is an issue for democracy. Although you can have journalism in non-democracies, you cannot have a democracy without a journalism. Fake news is not a new phenomenon. Fake news has been around for as long as news uh, has been there. Um, and there have always been different types of, uh, of what we now call fake news. There's gossip, there's malicious reporting, there's intentional um, miscoding of messages. Um, all of that is part of the fake news environment, but all of it is also part of the journalistic environment. And if we can train people to understand the news in a more critical and literate fashion, we have a better chance of, of being able to get out of the alarm mindset that we're in uh, at present concerning fake news. I imagine journalism going back to its best version of itself, where journalism can be independent and critical uh, and interesting and intellectual and creative. Um, and most important, it can be proactive. I think that what we are seeing today with journalism is way too much reactivity, um, way too much lagging behind uh, what other people are doing to kind of push the news agenda. Um, so I think that being able to retweak journalism's core by rethinking uh, principles of autonomy and criticality um, are the best way forward. Um, I think it's important for journalists to understand the skills and crafts of journalism, like interviewing, like good writing, like uh, understanding how one approaches a source. Um, but without having a context into which one can fit those skills, they don't really matter to very much. So it's important to understand politics. It's important to understand history. I think history is one of those things that journalists are forgetting. The news media are forgetting history, and there's a lot in history today that tells us very important things about what we're going through at this moment. Um, understanding sociology, understanding data, understanding statistics, all of this, all of these outside skills offer journalists a way to kind of magnify their tool set uh, and make their, their, th what they have to give a story that much richer.